really like to thank all of those who contributed to the topics of my earlier vlog about vegans consuming milk. Good to know that there are so many people dedicated to animal welfare. And before responding to some of the trending comments, let me just shine a little light on where I'm coming from. I'm a celibate monk from a 5,000 year old Krishna tradition in which cows and humans have a symbiotic relationship. You could compare it to what dogs are to man today. Nature is full of these kinds of relationships. I've been living on farms and ashrams that care for cows and bulls for almost 40 years, so I have some experience. And in our tradition, the cow is considered like our mother, the bull is like our father, and milking is done by hand and animals are cared for, for life. Interestingly, in Hungary, we've managed to pass a law in Parliament that makes our herd religious paraphernalia, and so it's protected as church property. And we also have permission for our own cow cemetery, which is quite a rare thing. As I mentioned before, I don't consume any dairy unless its source is compatible to what we have in Krishna Valley. Blood mill, milk from the commercial industry, it's not for me. But I travel a lot. And ahimsa or cruelty-free milk, it's not widely available. So therefore, mostly I'm dieting as a vegan. That's why I coined this term, veggie vegan. Considering that there are nearly one half billion vegetarians worldwide, people who care about animals, shouldn't we be thinking about how our milk comes to us and how to disassociate ourselves from blood milk? Now let me touch on a few trending comments and here come some questions. The first one is, do cows really produce more milk than calves require? My experience and the facts are yes. In a non-intensive dairy, a cow can give 25 liters, far more than the calf requires. The next question is, is it true that cows produce milk due to being milked against their will? No. Oh. Cows produce milk because that's what cows do. And they do it even after a calf is born, sometimes for years, if they're happy and unstressed. But a cow with a full udder that's not milk is in great discomfort, is in stress. For me, milk is a miracle food. You can't count its many byproducts. It contains primary vitamins and proteins, as are so many medically beneficial properties. Another question is, only humans drink milk beyond childhood, so shouldn't we sort of wean off the stuff? No, as we all know, humans are quite a different species. We do a lot of things animals don't do. Uh, we communicate on social media, for example. But birds, cats, dogs, even snakes will drink milk whenever they can. And they're pretty connected to nature. Now here's the main question. Did we ask the cows if we could take their milk? Many of you have asked that. A child is born into a social setting without a choice and is raised according to parents' values without their asking babies their permission. But as long as social and family values and lifestyles are not abusive, as long as they result in healthy, productive young adults, the absence of a baby's initial consent is not a consideration. Humans have a right to maintain and utilize dairy cows and working bulls, so long as they are not abused or slaughtered. And especially when cows and bulls display behavior, yes, they display behavior that shows their consent with the milk they give and the work they do. For me, the bottom line for all of this debate is this. The world was created by design and by a designer. And it's the designer who determines what food is offenseless and what's forbidden. And the designer determined what kind of labor, including animal labor, is acceptable and what is not. That's me and my spiritual tradition. And that's my conviction. Anyway, we may be vegetarians, vegans, lacto-vegetarians, whatever we may be, we don't have time to argue. We need to actually agree. We have to speak against and bring to an end to the historically unprecedented slaughter of animals that mankind is perpetuating against the most defenseless creatures on this earth. You think about it. Statistics. 
60 billion farmed animals slaughtered every year. And that's not counting aquatics whose corpses are measured in the thousands of tons. That's a lot of bad karma. And someday, mankind will have to pay for that bad karma. May not be far away. Anyway, let me close here. If you have further questions, please send me a message and one of our team will get back to you. And if you'd like to see cow protection in action, visit an Ahimsa farm nearest to you. Or please consider my invitation to visit Krishna Valley for yourself.